I'm going to show you how to replace the accelerometer, also known as the speed sensor or the Hall effect sensor, on a washing machine. If you find this content helpful, please hit the like button and subscribe to the channel. I have a GE washing machine, and it only works for a few minutes and then just shuts off. And it's because the speed sensor is not working correctly. So if we open the inside of the machine, you can find the model number and look up the part to order the accelerometer. And once you have the part, we can start taking it apart. First thing you do is take out the soap dispenser, usually a little tab, then take off this little dial. It comes straight off, pops off. Now you get access to five screws that hold the soap dispenser to the machine. Just remove those five screws and remember where you took them out from. Now you can take that little front fascia off and there's a little, there's some clips on the other side of it. You saw how I slid it to the right. Don't break those, do that. So you slide it right off those tabs. And then you have access and can take the control board off with these two plugs that I'll show you in just a second. You can remove these plugs or you can just let it hang there and get access to the top cover, uh, three Phillips head screws that hold the top on. So I just chose to hold it there. Uh, it's dangerous. You don't want to damage those wires, but that's what I did. So you undo those screws that hold the top cover on and make sure you don't lose those. Then you can take the top cover off and kind of slip that front cover on um, so it just stays there now with the top exposed we can see the speed sensor and it's located right on top it just measures the the drum going around there it is that white square just have a plug on it and a few screws that hold it so we just need to remove the plug remove the screws and here's the new one that was ordered direct from the manufacturer so just take those screws off. They're just Phillips head screws. So once you finally get all three of those off, you can get that plug out. It's just a little push tab you get in. Now there is this little zip tie clip that I just broke, but remove that, no big deal if that's not connected just keeps the wires out of the way. You can either put a new zip tie on or just kind of mount it in the correct way. It'll be fine. Put the screws back in and then just securely fasten the plug back in to the component. Put that top back on the same way you put it off. Just line up some holes and then slide it uh, back like that. You saw that I pushed it back towards the back of the machine and then that lines it up and then you can put in those three three cover screws to secure the top cover and once you get those in um, you need to secure this front um, control panel cover with remember those those tabs on the outside need to get put on first you line those up and then you kind of secure it uh, by sliding it towards the left if you're facing the front of the machine and then once you get that you kind of manipulate that blue soap dispenser on the inside to line it up and then you attach those five screws putting them in the exact position you took them out from because they are different some go into uh, metal some go into plastic so if you can keep those the same it'll be just better uh, for this time in case you remove it and you don't do any damage to the, the threads so with all five of those put back in the soap dispenser is secure And you want to make sure it's lined up perfectly because it's easy to not line that up. So these have little tabs. You can see it's flush everywhere. It's lined up. So we can put the soap dispenser back in and it just slides back in. Now you can put that front uh, dial back on. Uh, it does go on a certain way. You can see the little clips. You just kind of rotate it until you hear the clip. Once you do that, it's, it's locked in where it should be. And that's it. Plug it in and test it. Make sure it works. If you found this content helpful, please hit the like button, subscribe to the channel. If you have any questions, please leave a comment.